Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, you're seeing this correctly. I am on a KLR 650. I had to trade up the KTM 690 for a KLR 650. <laughs> yes, it's real. Look at this. Look at this beauty. <laughs> now, the, uh, the back story on this uh, KLR 650 is that... Uh, I'm, uh, I had a little uh, electrical issue with my KTM 690, so I wanted to upload this video, and partly for the KTM 690 people and partly for the uh, KLR 650 people because uh, they're probably saying, hey man, I told you so, those KTMs aren't very reliable. So my 690, it, it doesn't have any issues or running, but uh, we're going to find out pretty soon what exactly was wrong, but uh, my turn signal stopped working, and... Um, they were doing a diagnostic to, to trace it through the wiring harness yesterday. But they called me up and said it was all done. And they loaned me this uh, KLR 650. And it's bringing back a couple of memories. All I have to say about this KLR 650 is that uh, it's like riding the world's most awesome lawn tractor. It sounds like one, it's smooth. It just tractors along. I mean, seriously, it's like riding a lawn tractor. These things are are such great commuters. It just, oh man, it's so comfortable. It just flows. But uh, man, they they really can't get out of their own way <laughs> compared to the 690. Just totally different animals. Uh, you know, if I had an endless budget of motorcycles, I, I could definitely see myself cruising around on one of these uh, KLR 650s again. Just, just putting. Just putting along. Anyway, we're on the way to pick up the 690. Pretty excited to have her back. A little backstory on this uh, KLR 650. <laughs> It actually happens to belong to a guy that uh, was a fan of my triathlon career. And uh, he happened to uh, sell it to the dealership, who's probably going to sell it to a rental company. And so uh, I'm riding one of my fans' KLR 650s right now. <laughs> the only difference between a KLR 650 and a lawn tractor is uh, the KLR 650 has worse brakes. <laughs> I tell you, man, the brakes on this thing absolutely suck. I totally forgot how bad they sucked. But uh, other than that, and she's a beauty. It's even got a KLR dash. Some of the accessories were taken off here, and so it's, it's held on with a piece of tape at the moment. But uh... back on the KTM 690. It's good to have her back. Uh, the only thing that ended up being wrong with it was the uh, turn signal relay. So, hey, if your uh, turn signal stopped working, it might be your turn signal relay. Seems to make sense. But yeah, she's a beast. Got a whole lot more grunt than that KLR 650. So, now that, uh, now that the 690 is legal again with uh, turn signals and stuff, I'm going to uh, start doing a few more videos. So... If uh, you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you are because uh, I'm going to have a couple of pretty exciting things coming up that uh, you're going to want to be subscribed for. So, so I'll put that uh, subscribe link up here at the end of the video. Make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. It's good to be on the old girl. Yeah, mister.